We did it. We done it. We done okay, it. okay. We're good. You gonna bring us in, big boy? Never. All right. Good. I like it. <laughs> staying, staying true to our original format. I Maybe like it. Maybe next time. Maybe I next it. time. Maybe next time you'll see Nick say. Hey everyone, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I would be Derek, the bourbon steward. And I would be thy Nick, <laughs> thy bartender, <laughs> who thy certified. <laughs> thy certified bartender. Did I say that right? I think so. I think so we're here. We're, yeah, here. we're here. We're here. Doing episode our thing. 20. Yes, this is 20th episode. Or 19. Nope, 20. This is 20. 2 0. Yeah. We're moving on. I will trust I me. I, I, I do the mo. I yeah. do it all. I know what we're on. I think it's twenty right now. Could be wrong, Could but be. we'll see. If it says nineteen down below, then it was me. Sorry. Yeah. One of our new additions to the show is the beautiful water droplets that water you droplets. set up for us. And yes, I did. And Abel, Abel decided couldn't, to take yeah, a little sip. He did. He wanted a little bit in there, you know, because he was thirsty out there on the streets panhandling for us trying to get subscribers. That's what he does. So subscribe down below over now right near Nick. Right down there be a little button you can just smash and subscribe, like us, tell your friends about us because we need everything. Oh, we also have <laughs> new episodes. We forget this every time. Um, it's been, it's just It's forgotten. kind of a joke now. Yeah, but it's like, kind of, it's, we just purposely forget We it. literally were staring at it last time and didn't say, <laughs> say anything. anything. And there's a huge sign, you can't miss it, but new episodes. New ones, yes. Every, every Monday. And Friday okay. at 2 o'clock. Be out at 2. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Eastern, Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard, Standard Time. Eastern. Okay. Well, what did you say? <laughs> Eastern or Central. Or, Eastern or Central or Pacific. Which you I know. Eastern Time, it'll be at 2 o'clock. There so. you go. That's, that's really awful. <laughs> Figure it out. Do the math and you'll be able to watch Otherwise, us. Otherwise, just keep watching Hit the notifications. If you hit the notifications oh. button, you'll know exactly when it because you'll get the little alert saying, come watch me. You and your YouTube savviness. We, we have some new art. We do. There is some new art hanging on the wall here. That is a whiskey thief. Okay. A whiskey thief is used in is it rob me? No, it's not going to rob you. It's it's actually made to rob whiskeys. Tell so, me about it. all right, I'll tell you a little bit about it. We are going to do some more onto it, but I'll give you the quick quick synopsis on the whiskey thief. Um, it's used inside um, the whiskey distillery warehouses, the Rick houses. The master distiller or um, his underlings, I guess he has underlings, um, could go around and what they do, they'll pop the bung on a barrel of whiskey. Yeah. They go into it. They'll stick this down into the barrel, and there's a hole on the end cover it up, pull it out, and with their little whiskey glasses, they can pour out what they're doing. So when they're trying it to see if that barrel is ready to be used, if it's reached the flavor profiles that the master distiller is looking for. Okay. Now this is a smaller one. This is only, you know, so this is a small one. They actually have a bigger one. It's about two feet long and it's a little bit thicker than this one. Um, so, but that's what it's used for. And that's awesome because I remember being a kid, like, and I still do it as an adult, but like where you like take your soda or your water or whatever and you like try to you know, put it in and mm -hmm. take it out, and then you just keep taking shots of it. Yep. So that's kind of yeah. cool that they do that. You yeah, know, that's in really a sense. They're not taking shots with that. They're putting I, it in a glass. It's just one of the things. I mean, I've, I've, fun. I've seen it before. I yeah. liked it, and I, I bought it. I got it from a guy um, on the eBay. Okay. Um, it's from It Takes a Thief. Um, and he has them on like eBay. It. He sells this small version, a bigger version. He sells some whiskey dogs, which are really small ones, which I hope to get in, in the near future. Um, so we can do some little episodes on, you know, the. the history of these items and how they've come to be in the distillery and whiskey in general. Yeah. So hoping for that, but cool. it's from, uh, it takes a thief, check them out, definitely go to his page. Um, he does have an email, I'll put that all, all the information down below. So go check them out, it takes a thief. Um, look at his wares and uh, if you buy something from him, just mention our name, say hey, I saw it, I'm keeping it neat. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, but, it would. All right, you wanna get into some of this First whiskey thing? Yeah, ooh, partnerships, I like <laughs> maybe. it, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Don't get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not go too far ahead. No. Nope. All right, so are you ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Well, let's go. The tap makes it official. Ooh, this huh. is different. What are you getting on that nose there, sir? I don't, I'm getting like, I, I want to say it's almost like a cherry? little mustiness. Like there's like a mustiness on the front there a little. Yeah. Yeah, doing the, all right, we'll do it. Fan it in. It's not helping me. No, it's not at all. I'm thinking maybe yeast or something. Okay, I, I could go with yeast on that. Woo, mama! Wow. Holy schmackerels. There's so much flavor profile going on right now. That's I, a lot going on right there. I felt like Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Holy, wow. That's a lot. Um, I still feel definitely like I'm there's falling. A, I'm now on the, on the palate, I'm getting a huge amount of oak. Yep. Right in there. Right on the tongue, it's like, like a dry oak. 
I'm gonna try it again. Definitely. I'm gonna can't wait to open this can because I'm gonna be trying it a whole lot more, I think. But hey, that's just me. Oh, going for H2O or are you just I am. playing with the water dropper? No, you know, I took two sips. Again, I feel kind of lost. I'm gonna use natural water, but All you're right. gonna use something special. I have an actual limestone water, which is used by the distilleries. Um, well, down in the down in Kentucky and Tennessee, because that's what they have a lot down there is a limestone water runs through all the limestone, purifies it. Wow. So this is actual limestone water that they use to cut their own. Um, so we'll have to share after to see whose glass tastes like if, if they taste different or if it's like kind of one of those hoaxes. You know, we'll see. Three, five drops. I'm skeptical. Skeptical of it. You're skeptical. All right. Well, hey, give it a little stir up. Let's see. Now, I mean, I usually like my neat. I like that pack up front actually that it the nose a little bit it kind of I don't know if it killed it a little it's got those legs it's a, I'm getting that okay I'm gonna oh, go with this I'm gonna say it because I, I'm wrong every time but this time I'm going car you know what I'm gonna go caramel you go vanilla we'll be right I don't even know if I want to go vanilla no no I don't I don't smell vanilla at okay. all I'm still near that like corn popcorn style again I feel like I could be wrong all right taste mine oh I'm in for this lime water. What, what is it? Limestone. Limestone water. water, yes. Bottles behind my head. Limestone, Kentucky limestone water. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's back there. We'll show it later, maybe. Definitely tastes different. It does. Well, you're getting that. It's got like a more minerally taste to it with the water itself. So, I was proven wrong, and I'm happy I was proven wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm interested because I feel like actually that I feel like just opened the flavors up and I feel like it changed the flavor of this. It, it opened my, up my the flavor water. on that. That I think it opened up the nose a little more. The line I, for whatever I mean, it shouldn't it should do the same. I, I would imagine with the uh, nosing on it, it shouldn't really make that much. It's, it, you're diluting it. I know what my guess is, and I don't even I don't need more time with this. Oh, I drop mm -hmm. my marker, folks. So what I'll do is I'm going to talk to the camera, and while we do that, and there you go, another one. Very good. All right. <laughs> Zoom in on me, and we're going to... Wow, that's some... Um, Woo! There's such a burn after. There is. There's some burn going on there. I'm feeling a, a, a good portion of heat. So as you finish, I'll reveal first. I went rye. Okay. And I went 46%. All because right. I feel like it's got that it's got a burn going. Oh, it's got some burn. That's, I don't know that's what's happening to this, and so like I'm kind of, and every time I get lost, I have to resort to the rye. The rye. That's uh, you know I, I wanted to go rye, but I went bourbon. Okay. I'm, I'm getting the bourbon. You know, but rye wouldn't be that far off, but 52% um, because it's hot. I'm, I'm getting some burn it in there. It's, yeah. We're it's, running a little toasty on that it one, is. so it, it's got some screaming eagle to it. Before you open. Oh, before I'm open, that's right. We've got to rate this bad boy. Okay. This one I would definitely not say is a beginner's whiskey. Never. Not give in a million years. Do not one. give anyone no. if you go, hey, you want to try the whiskey no. for your first time? Whatever we open up to, no. No. That is a hard no on this, yeah. sir. Um, you go first, because I did the last one. Okay. Let me take one more so sip. I'm going to take a sip. I'm going to re reassess, but I think I, I, I know the number I'm coming in on with this. Just a two this time. You know what I think this is? You think you know the answer? I think I Write do. it down. I don't even want you to tell me. No way. Yeah, this way, because I can never me. show. I'm going to give it a one. What are you, are you going with? I give it a two. A two. Okay. I, it's there, but again, I, I feel like we're back at JP Weiser's. Like, lost. Oh, that kind of lost in yeah, there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm lost. It's lost. I'll help it. All right, but. I'm going to write this down. I th I'm going with a guess. All right, let's see what's in there. Maybe I'll show that. Maybe I, I hope won't. you redeem yourself. I don't. I don't. It's not going <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, mine was hey! a bird. Mine was a bird. My birthday gift. Your birthday gift. There it is. No fighting wonder why it has a burn. It is totally a fighting cock. It is a fighting cock right so there, sir. So if you have a fighting cock back, there. And yeah, okay, totally high percentage. 51.5%. Yeah, so I so said you 52. Right up there. And it came in for me. I put down, um, I'm glad I went with bourbon. I went with the bourbon. And I went with, <laughs> I, I thought Wild Turkey 101 because it was coming in with that okay. kind of burn, that high. And yeah. honestly, never. I have never, ever tried the... Um, you hold Fighting cock. Read. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight the cock and hold this and you go there. <laughs> um, so again, before we even like get into these notes, this was one of our previous episodes. This was my birthday, birthday episode recently from you guys. Uh, yes. And um, and truthfully, 
And I'm I'm glad this made an appearance. This is fun. this is exciting. I wasn't expecting to see it. You know, any I was. Th you, but the bourbon babes trick us up all the time. They so do. I never know what's going to be in the can. And that was I, I. It was just that. Can I go can ahead. I explain something? Go. That red cock right there is flaming. That is a flaming <laughs> cock. And when you see a flaming cock, you should know stuff's gonna happen. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. No, but, all right, so when I was thinking like when I when you first got me this bottle, I was like, all right, this this bottle is gonna have a kick. I already knew. I knew something about the label, something about the bird, and I was just thinking like, okay, the way it's red, it's flames, it's gonna have a nice kick to it. It's gonna be a little bit robust. I am gonna give a shout face. out right now to the individual that told me about this from okay. his military days. Um, Sean Radovich, shout out to you for the fighting cock, sir. Thank you, Thank you for your service to our country. Um, but yeah, he was telling me about this. Used to be his go-to all the time. Wow. Yeah, hardcore, right? I have Good a lot of respect for, for you, sir. Um, yeah. now, like, when I see you, bro, I'm going to give I, you a hug and say, I was wow. going to say, shake your hand. Yeah, I that's going to shake. Thank seriously. you for your service and for drinking that nightly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you, but yeah, that, that has some heat to it. Again, it's, it's, let's get into it. Get into it. Okay. Bro. It is age six years. Okay. The mash bill, 75% corn. Woo! 13% rye. I got both of those. Oh, yeah, you did. All right. And then 12% malted barley. Okay. okay. I said yeasty, so then yeah. you could get that. So distillery, there. Heaven Hill, and um, the bad boy of bourbon is bottled at a robust, that's <laughs> ironic. I just said robust. Robust. I said it was very robust. Yes, and it's you in did. Here. Look at that. Uh, it's bottled at a robust 103 proof. It's aged six years of smooth to smooth out the feathers real well. <laughs> <laughs> The reward winning packaging and point of sale and a unique and irrelevant <laughs> not irrelevant. In irrelevancy. <laughs> it's not irrelevant at all, folks, what we're putting in this irrelevant bottle. Irrelevant <laughs> marketing campaign, fighting cock appeals to both male Gen Xers and serious bourbon lovers alike. The kicking yeah. chicken has been a favorite throughout the South for years. Dude, there are so many with these names that I, I, love I am on a hunt now to find all of this to the fighting cock man. the fighting cock Sean? so the look it says is a caramel look which is definitely yeah definitely it's got I mean, some legs to it too it was mm -hmm. sticking to the side of the, the glass when you swirl it around and look at nose, it nose caramel wood oak <laughs> <laughs> i wish that could be oak, oak. <laughs> like come on a nice piece of pine in there mm. i sometimes i read these and get mad like come on you know what we're talking about dark fruit vanilla who said that Someone Did you say vanilla? Or I said, no, I said, said caramel. I said caramel. You, you get vanilla, vanilla. <laughs> and we'll get it right. So there you go. You can own it. And a nutty undercurrent. But on the palate, all the, I love this, all the fruit is gone. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally what it fruit. is. It's Pal nothing but the burn. But all the fruit is gone, but that mega dose of spice remains. Yeah, there's yeah, definitely does. spice yes. there. And it's pocketed with notes of wood, toasted nuts, caramel, and vanilla. Look at that. Can't awesome. go wrong. Just throw it out for everything. Like the nose, the palate is rich and bold, but again, that sucker punching <laughs> <laughs> shows up and bam! You get walled at the end with it. Dude, I love this one! This is the best palate reading of all time! That is literally, folks, I'm, I'm coming up. That is word for word. If you don't believe me, it is right here. That is all right there. Pause it, read it, it's there. That is incredible. Where did the notes come from? Because it should be on the back page Happy of where birthday it birthday to me. Finish! Spice again leads the finish with notes of wood, caramel, and toasted nuts, keeping it company, keeping its company on the long fade. So yes. that was a fun one. What do you think the price is? I know. What Wait the price a minute, is. you bought it. I bought it. I know what the price is on it. I should have. It's for what you're getting out of this. Honestly, oh the God. price is amazing. That was so. Yes. Okay, but I'm it sorry. is whopping $19.99. It, it is. But it, right. it varies. It'll be like 21, 22. It'll be in that range anyway. But when I bought it at the time, unopened bottle. This is an unopened bottle. N yeah. had never tried it before. No. Don't me, know. So literally when you guys gave it to me, I said, all right. And I handed it over to the back guy. And I handed it to the bourbon baby. And she it, yep. put it, stashed it away. Like this one. Again, never tried it. This actually, I mean, that I'll give fun. it a three. That's a fun one. Fighting cock is amazing just I, alone for the puns that honestly, we Honestly, just from every the experience alone, I don't even know if you can, but I am. You're adding a half. I'm going half. I'm just, I'm going to stick with because my three. Because it still is good. It just was so much was going on. But again, this might be a fun one where like, if you were to drink this throughout a night, like this might have some effects. Oh, like, it's going to have a lot of effects. Yeah, you're going to be starting like, like, 
I want you to drink more of this. in the pool again. Yeah, like, we'll be. Yeah, uh, this is this is by the fire. Yeah. Yeah, this could cause trouble in yeah. the middle of the night. There'll so be flaming really cocks everywhere by midnight. Derek, do you see that? <laughs> go! 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 I don't know if that's what. It would I don't be. know what the the fighting cock would sound problem. like. Who knows? But anyway, you would just swear at me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just it, yell at There me. could be a lot of swearing. You Mikey. stink! You stink! You I, bad I, man! I have to be nice. See, we're still trying to keep it PG thirteen, even with even with fighting cock. We're still trying to keep it neat. We do our best. We do our best. So here's hoping that you find a little bit of luxury in an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, folks. Thanks. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.